we're looking to do in this work is see things without naming them. The moment we name something, it becomes a concept. The moment it's a concept, it has loads of baggage, loads of associations, both positive and negative. In this work, we're increasing that capacity to see without automatically jump to name. So it's a beautiful point. We're looking to hear without giving it that sounds like. We just want to hear. And we're giving this sensation of feeling. I just feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. But I'm not naming it or interpreting it. It's a daily practice to learn how to let things initiate through the body. For some people, it's challenging. I'm curious how many people felt somewhat more relaxed afterwards? A lot. So what we're looking at in this first stage of embodiment work is that the body, when given the natural conditions to do so, usually moves into a state of calmness and relaxation. It moves into a direction of more health. So when we're looking at systems work, whether I'm working with education systems, with poverty systems, with healthcare systems, we're trying to explore what would the natural conditions need to be in order for this system to naturally move towards health, just like the body does. The definition of leadership, the natural leadership that I use, is that a leader is someone who not only is aware of the whole, but also cares for it. And maybe in some of this work that we've done right now, there's a bit of a first sense of what does it feel like to care for another person. Now, we're just doing this one-to-one, -one, but when we're looking at systems work, we're particularly interested, how do you care for a full system? How do you care for a full organization? How do you care for a full meeting room? And the tendency of our awareness is generally to be looking into the power center. We're very attracted to power centers, very attracted to what is known and clear and stable. That's why we're so interested in this work to not focus on the other person. We often say in this work, it's not about you. Whatever happened in your experience, it's not about you. It's about the space in between you because there lies something new, something fresh. And in fact, those of you that are familiar with the Theory U model know that the real source of innovation and freshness, if we're looking for systemic change, the Theory U proposes is always in the margins. If we're just looking at balance, right? We're looking at bringing our body into natural synchronicity with our mind. We're looking at bringing the outside, whatever is the outlier of the system, whoever is the outlier of the system, to bring that into the middle of our awareness and attention. And that would be truly innovative. Thank you very much.